Thanks, Maria. I don't give a fuck. All right, chumps, let's do this. So this week, the video oh, is going to be about literature. So that's the fun topic James picked on Monday. So I do English A level, well, English literature and language, which is a kind of condensed course or so I've been told. Actually, I don't know if I have been told that because I wasn't listening, but yeah. Um, one of the books we study, along with One of the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, which is a damn fine book. Better film there. Jack Nicholson, I love him. Uh, and The Curious Internet of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, which is a damn fine book. It's about a guy with Asperger's. Um, yes, we read a, a classic book, still pretty crap, uh, called um, The Great Gatsby. And honestly, ain't that great. Great Gatsby is about a man called Nick, and how he befriends this man called Gatsby. That's pretty much it, really. There's nothing that great about him, to be honest. Uh, he got all his money from uh, basically selling illegal alcohol, uh, and then bought lots of nice stuff and attempts to oppress a woman he hadn't seen for several years. This book results in his death. He's not really a great guy. He... I mean, like... Ollie's greater than him. And he's... Ginger. So yeah, it's been called a classic book because I suppose it is a good example of literature. I mean, it's very well written. He uses a lot of big words and that's quite impressive. As you can imagine. But... Honestly, at the time that it was written, I can't even imagine people from that time period enjoying it because it is so slow and so boring and frankly I just don't care it doesn't make me care about any of the characters it doesn't even make me interested in their backstory it fails to have the sort of purpose a novel should which is to be interesting now what I'm reading at the moment well wow. It's far from being a classic, uh, it's the Darren Shan series of the vampire book things. And they are for kids, and that kind of shows. I mean, there's a, not a lot of weak plot points, and not a lot of development in the characters. But that's not a totally bad thing, I mean, it is written for kids, so I guess Darren Shan can get away with it, but there's still something about the stories that kind of sucks you in. And by the by, like the end of the first few books, if you manage to get that far, you are definitely hooked on them. We also written another series called uh, The Demonata, which is about demons and vampires, and it is brilliant. It's written for more older genre of child. Freedom. And the last item of business today is Easter Friday, uh, the first in a series of days dedicated to Easter, which we don't really need. And, uh, yeah, happy Easter, everybody.